There are lots of different ways to get around in this neighborhood. The Lloyd District is just sort of perfectly designed for folks who want to walk or take public transportation. There are lots of other apartment buildings around, but the rents in the other places are not really affordable for working families. This neighborhood is a very dense urban neighborhood. It's near downtown. Uh, we do have lots of homeless issues, and if this building can help to house some people who currently don't have a home, that will really improve the neighborhood. The biggest indicator of the rate of homelessness isn't mental illness or addiction, but rather the difficulty in securing affordable housing. The fact is, wages simply cannot keep up with the cost of real estate and families, those low and middle class families who are spending half of their income on rent, are the ones most at risk. The simple answer is, of course, build. It's precisely what the Powering America team of NECA and the IBEW is helping to do on Portland, Oregon's northeast side. So this apartment community is right in the heart of the Lloyd District. Well, this is the largest affordable housing building that has been built in Portland over the last 50 years. It's going to make it easy to live and work in the neighborhood if this is where you work or to get to where you need to go for school or for whatever else you've got going on in your life. Under construction for the past 18 months, when finished will bring 240 new units, a mixture of studios, one and two bedroom apartments, 20 of which are reserved for extreme low-income residents. Whether you're a senior on a fixed income or a mom raising a couple of kids, this will be a perfect community to live in. We're scheduled to open in October. We're really excited to have a grand opening party and get families moved inside in time for trick-or-treating at Halloween, so that's really awesome. Part of the solution to affordable housing is the city and county are working with developers to provide for a certain percentage of all new housing to include affordable housing. And that's actually become a boom for our construction industry in downtown Portland. From an electrical construction standpoint, it may seem on the surface to be your average everyday project, but in actuality, there's fire alarms, a distributed antenna system, telecommunications, access controls and security. Plus, we have a 3,000 amp service, which is split into two vertical runs of bus duct. One's at 1,600 amps, the other's at 2,000 amps. From there, it splits into individual floors, which have bank of meter packs, and it's, that's an 800 amp disconnect. And from there, they go to each individual unit with an MC feeder, and we've probably ran about, I wanna say six, six miles worth of MC cable throughout the entire building. I've been all over this building on this project. I really enjoyed running the conduit and it's great practice. The journeyman that I work with, he's always full of tips and tricks and I'm always trying to teach me new things. I would say this is a really good uh, example of a collaborative design build project, bringing you know, a lot of different teams together from the Walsh O'Neill partnership and bringing their design build partners on early so that we could work with the owner to develop and build a building that really met their expectations. What I think this building will provide is a stable home base for people, so that way they can thrive in this great community that we're in. Other cities who are dealing with the crisis of affordable housing that we are, and frankly, pretty much every urban area in the country is, I would say the city of Portland has provided a lot of great examples to follow, and this is a perfect one. Where do we have property? Where do we have opportunities to get people safe places to live and then work as hard as possible to make it happen? That's all for this edition. Be sure to check us out on social media for behind the scenes extras and industry information. From Portland, Oregon, I'm Dominic Geritano. We'll see you next time.